All right, so I've done multiple hydroponic tests for carrots. And we can see here, I've got some full grown carrots. What we're doing now are these five inch cells. And it seems to be working really nicely. I can see this is a nice inch wide base. Um, they've matured really fast, faster than the carrots that we grew in pots. So here was the first setup and I'm harvesting now. Um, these bigger carrots all came out of the bigger 20 gallon smart pots. So these are bigger, deeper pots. We had a lot of carrots. You can see this one, I haven't picked it yet. Picked a few out of here. I've harvested three or four out of this pot already, but there's still at least a dozen carrots in there. And I've definitely noticed that they grew better and bigger um, than the ones we had in the little 10 gallon pots. So we wanted to kind of see the difference and there was a huge difference that the 10 gallon pots, we had all little shorties like this and in the bigger pots, we're getting more of the big full size, full length carrots. So you can see these are mostly really good sized carrots. There's only a couple um, that were kind of shorties or split like that. And then one really weird one that grew against the edge like that and I'm not gonna eat that one. So I'm harvesting the rest of them because they're they're pretty much done and also we wanna go, look at that one, another weird mutant. We want to uh, replant this area with other crops. So we're pulling out all the carrots right now and you can see the results. Carrots are really unpredictable. It's kind of like you these were all planted the same, but we really just don't know what they're going to be like until you pull them out. And look how, how much bigger some of them can be. They're really very individualized. Oh, that's a real twisty one. Wow. So we've got a bunch of that, and that might be because of the perlite that we grow in. I don't know if there's another reason for that. I thought it was when when they reach obstacles in the soil or something, they they kind of split off like that. Um, I don't know if that's a genetic thing or some other reason, but here they all come, huh? And this is cocoa coir that we're growing in, so they come out real easily. Wow, really nice big carrot. So that's how that's how much carrots you can get in uh, in um, you know about four square feet, four cubic feet, four square feet, that would be about eight cubic feet maybe, I'm going here. You correct me in the comments. So a lot of this pot ended up with the, the split weirdo carrots, which we're not really thrilled about. Um, to be honest, this is the first time I've ever grown carrots and uh, Look at that little tiny one. Ah, there's the runt of the litter. So there's our hydroponic carrot experiment. We've been dripping them. Um, we're doing the ones over here in flood and drain, which works out a lot better. And I'm pretty confident that we're going to get more consistent and nicer carrots. I'd pull a couple of these, except I don't, I don't need more carrots right now. So I don't really want to pull them um, to show you. But let's pull one, what the heck. So a little shorty there. That's a little cell, that's a little, uh, I don't know why we still have some in, this, in these cells. I thought those were all done. The ones in the big five inch cells over here should should be coming in a little longer let's see the problem with the cells I found is that they're a little hard to extract but wow very nice very very nice so that's what we're hoping for is to get a really nice consistent size carried out of these cells and that's the system that we're going to continue with we're going to do one of these blocks of, of uh, 30 uh, cells every month and um, 
that'll be the system system that we use moving forward and it's on a flood and drain um, getting fed four times a day and um, that's my verdict of doing hydroponic carrots and radishes too we did the same experiment and honestly we we do get these really nice big uh you know results with with growing in the coco coir but honestly i would rather have more consistent results that we get growing in the uh cells because the inconsistency of getting all of these weirdo and and some are little some are big we even got one that small out of the same pot that you know we got this sucker so it's it seems a little bit more inconsistent and hit or miss when we're just growing kind of like uh, modified garden you know that's almost what you do out in your garden is just stick them in soil and a little bit more controlled situation with the cells I'm hoping we'll have better uh, long-term consistency so I'll keep making these videos and we'll see in a year or two what we're doing for carrots because they sure do taste good. I'd eat one now, but they are dirty. <laughs>